Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of dividing decimals. This is standard 5.3G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14, the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have uh, three computer monitors, and they use a total of 87 watts. Okay, so let's estimate this before we do the actual work here, right? So this is our total. All right, so let's draw a strip diagram here. Okay, so my total, it literally uses the word total, so I'm going to put my hole up here. Let's use a strip diagram. If that's 87 watts, and I've got three computer monitors, and each monitor uses the same number. Right? This is a nice representation here. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at three chunks equally, dividing into 0.87, right? 87 hundredths of a watt. That's not even a full watt. That's 87 hundredths. So if I'm going to take my 8700 and split it into three equal sections, my answer is going to have to be very much less than one. Because since my total originally is less than one, if I break that into three equal pieces, it's going to be a lot smaller than that one. Which means I'm already getting rid of A and C. Because those are already larger than one. Most likely, right, if I take my... 0 0.87. I bet you if I multiply by 3, I bet you I'm going to find one of those. 24, 26, yeah, 2.61. Yeah, that's what that is, right? Is if I multiplied by 3. So I'm already eliminating A and C, and I haven't even done the work. Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to divide, right? So if we look at this, this is a strip diagram part, part, whole, if you want to call it that. And we see the same number, okay, so that means equal groups. Whenever you see equal number, equal groups, same number, the same in each group, the words slightly vary. You should think equal groups, and that's going to either be multiply or divide. Okay, now, the reason I know it's uh, division, because they've already given us the total. So when they give you the number of groups and you're looking for the number in each group, that means you need to divide. Well, look what happens if you try to multiply this, right? How is it going to work if each of these are 261, right? So even if you didn't know that it was automatically division, try multiplication. See if that makes sense. Obviously, that doesn't. All right, so how do we divide this? Well, let's set it up like regular division. The only trick here, and in fifth grade we'll never do this, if you have a decimal in the divisor here, which we don't, then we are going to multiply that divisor by 10, by 100, by 1,000. We're going to do whatever we need to do to get that decimal out of the divisor, and then we need to do the same thing with the dividend. Right? So if it's like 0 0.3 into 9, we want to multiply it by 10, so we move the decimal over 1. We have to do the same thing over here to make it 3 into 90, just so we get that decimal out of the divisor. But that's not the case here. We have a decimal in the, in the dividend, and it, that's actually fine. All we're going to do is just treat it like it's 87. Put a decimal up here in our uh, answer key there up there the, on the uh, divisor bar. Put the quotient. We're good. We just divide like normal. That's That's how we divide decimals. We look to see if there's a decimal in the divisor. Typically, there's not in fifth grade. If there's one in the dividend, just put a decimal up above where it is. Put it on that quotient bar. So three goes into zero, zero times. That's fine. It's going to be a decimal. We're good with that. We still bring down one at a time. Eight. Three goes into eight twice. That's going to be six. Don't worry about the decimals down here. The decimal's up there in our quotient bar, so we're good. 27. Okay. So that looks like nine. Right, if you want, let's go ahead and double check. Right, if you take your 29 hundredths, multiply it by 3, yeah, you're going to get 0 0.87, so we're good. So my answer is going to be D, 29 hundredths of a watt.